from Jack's World, and so today we are going to be doing a science with my lovely assistant, Mom. Hi. Hi. So, let's get straight into it. What are we, what are we working on today? Um, Smith, Simonian, Crystal Growing Kids, one of them. We're going to do more. Okay. They haven't opened it yet. Oh, there's some glasses in here, too. Yeah, that's... Want to try these on? Yeah, I'll, I'll try those on. Okay. Looks like there might be a poster in the box as well. Yeah, yeah. Special glasses. Yeah, Let's see what the poster is. Smithsonian. Ooh. Crystal. Do I look at Oh, look at this. It's, um, it's the instructions. So do I look good in these, guys? Oh, yes. I think so. So it looks like in this box there are some bags of chemical powder. Gold and citrine. Yeah, let's see what else is in here. Okay, so we have a plastic growing cups. And we have some stones. And what are these, Jackson? Those are popsicle sticks. Yeah, mixing sticks, it says. And... A magnifying glass. Yeah. You always need a magnifying glass. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So, <laughs> let me just get rid of the garbage here. So, what does it say? It says we have one magnifying glass, two mixing sticks, three stones, two bags of chemical powder, one pair of goggles, growing cups, and we're going to need scissors and a heat-resistant measuring cup, 32 fluid ounces. Huh. We just happen to have these beakers from some other experiments we've done. It says, number one, you'll first grow a crystal cluster's Grow crystal clusters of a golden citrine color on a base rock. Carefully cut all the crystal growing cups apart from one another as shown here. So let's cut those apart. One's right here. As you can see, he's, he's part of the test. He's, he's out here with us today. <laughs> Look at the camera, Mommy. Hi! Mm -hmm. Now you can go one. You can go if you like. I hope he stays here with us today because it is going to be a very exciting experience. Okay, yeah. so it says be sure to leave a rim around each growing cup. Oh, I should have read that first, but I did. I think I did okay. And also remove any sharp corners from the rims with your scissors. Oh. That's pretty sharp. Let's see if we can maybe just cut off the corners a little bit. Just for oh. safety. Safety first or safety third, Jackson? Safety first. Okay. Not third. I always used to say danger second. <laughs> safety first, danger second was Jackson's motto. Yeah. Okay, we got rid of the sharp yeah. corners. Now it says number two. Use a heat-resistant measuring cup to measure out 2.29 fluid ounces, 68 milliliters. And it says use a heat-resistant measuring cup to measure out 2.29 fluid ounces and pour this water into a medium-sized pan. Place the pan under the stove and heat until water is boiling. Come on, that Okay, so I'll get a little... And, right? Like this, maybe? Yeah, yeah that, that should be good. Okay. Then, I'll get some water. And it said 68. So we're using purified water, not tap water. Um. Okay, so I got about 68. You check it, Jackson, see what you think. When you're measuring something, you always have to put it on a flat surface and let it settle so you can see exactly where the mark lies. Is this five? 
see where it says 65 and then see 60 and then there's a little half mark for 65 and then a couple more would be 68 but it's not to 70 right no okay so i think it's i think it's about 67 what 68 is? milliliters that's what it says place a pan on the stove and heat now this is a very small amount of water to boil but let's try and see what happens we're gonna put it on high. Jackson, do you have some safety tips for your friends about using the stove? Well, yes. Never use a stove without parent permission, parent or guardian permission, or and always be supervised by a parent if you're even using a stove. Mm -hmm. And always, <clears throat> I'm saying always. Parent permission and help. Okay. Now, number three says open bag number one. Let's see, which one is bag number one? I think it's th this one. It's this one. We have bag number seven. And we have bag number one. one. Hmm, wonder why there's one and seven. This is open bag number one, throwing chemical, and pour two thirds of the contents into the heat resistant measuring cup. I, I think it's because maybe it's like the element number? Get on up buddy, maybe. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this bag off. Ugh. Now they say about two thirds. So what I would do is I would try to kind of with my finger, like this is one third, the middle is one third, and the side is one third, right? So you have to kind of break in your mind. There's break three these. thirds. Right, we just want one third, so or two thirds. I'm sorry, two thirds. Okay. So we're gonna leave about, you know, not much left in the bag. Let's see. So it just says pour it right in. Do you want me to do it or do you want to um, do it? All of it? I no, really, no, not all. I can't of it. really afford that. So you want me to do it then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to pour it into a measuring cup here. But no one, no you can't, you must not, eat. you can't eat that. Yes, you can't have any of this woman. in. And here's a safety tip. Never eat, watch over the stuff and make sure that if you have a baby brother or pet, Cat, or dog, bird, anything. Don't want to eat the ingredients. They might be poison. Okay, I kind of spilled some there. Sorry, I'll have to clean that up later. That's right. Don't let your pets have this. Okay, this is boiling over here. It's very hot. Okay, so it says, you know, pour the crystals into the cup. Pour the boiling water from the medium-sized pan into the heat-resistant measuring cup which is over here. So I'll just pour that water right into here. Then, boiling water into the heat resisting measuring cup. Wow. Oh, I guess right into here. Right into here. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. There we go. It's now, yellow water it says now. says to stir this mixture. Stir, stir, the, get, get closer. Stir, start stirring, dude. Stir this mixture with your mix, mixing stick until all the chemical grains have dissolved completely. Don't don't let it splash over the side. Keep stirring. I still see some grains. Me too. And then it says allow the chemical mixture to cool for five minutes after the grains have dissolved. Can I see for just a yeah, second? Sure. I might have put a little bit too much in there. Hopefully I didn't, but... I'm not really good with measuring estimates. And then I got some that I need to clean up here. Yeah. So it says to keep stirring until all the crystals are dissolved. And then and we'll let it cool for five minutes. Here's another safety tip. If, if the project is messy, try it. When you're done, clean it up. Don't leave it there. If you have a pet, you know, you know what happens. It might eat the project. And even worse, 
maybe get poisoned. Because the project can be bad chemicals for a human body. Mm. I guess I messed and up. Stuff. I guess we were supposed to mix it into this. Sorry. I, I'd like to recommend to read their instructions all the way through before you begin an experiment. <laughs> yes. Sometimes we only read one part and then we find out, oops, we didn't do it right. And then we have to go back and fix it. So or start bad. over again. Yeah. So anyways, this is in here. Oh, there we go. Mom. Do okay, so place dust? one rock inside of the cup. Alright, which rock? It doesn't matter. Like? Pick whichever one you want. Large size rock. So it says, oh, into this into this one where we already have the yellow, uh, right here. Okay. okay. And then it says to pour the chemical water solution from the heat-resistant measuring cup into the D-crystal growing cup. And then after that, you take a, free, a few seed crystals and you put it on top of the rock. And then you have to set it in a place where it will not be disturbed by movement or changes in temperature. So... That means, also, Jackson, what does it mean when it says put it someplace where it won't be disturbed by changes in temperature? Where do you think, where do you think a good spot would be? Hmm, I'm not sure. Definitely, definitely not by the heater or, right. or a thermometer. Not by the heater and or not by the window because the window lets what in? Air. And that air can can cool it or heat it depends on what air but i was also thinking of something else besides air rain and snow sun honey oh the sun yeah. will let heat in yeah sun yeah too. and also another safety tip is try not to if you touch a, a chemical tr go and wash your hands because I mean, you're gonna be touching more chemicals, but don't put your. You're gonna be touching other things, and maybe even eating that or looking that. Yeah, you definitely have to wash your hands before and after an experiment. Yes. Okay. So now I just want to tell you what you would do next. So you would take your mixture and we would pour it into that cup with the stone right here. Stone. If you can see it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. And then. You're going to put a little bit of the leftover crystals on top. It kind of starts, it helps start the crystal growing. It has something to attach to. And then it says you can repeat these experiments. We have two more cups, so we would do one for blue and then one for green. Now for the blue one, you would use bag number seven. It has blue crystal chemicals but in But what here. about green? The green, you would mix what you have left from the yellow and blue. Because yellow and blue make what? Green. Yeah. So this is hey, about dissolved. that's Michigan colors. It's starting to cool down, but we still have a few more minutes for it to cool down. Okay, I think this is a little cooler. Yeah, it's probably cool okay. enough. Would you? Okay, Jackson, why don't you come over? And you can pour this right into there. All of Excuse it? Excuse this phone in. You're going to have to get down for a minute. You all sure? of it? Yes, honey. All of it. Get up on the chair first. I'll get you a little closer. Okay. There you go. Okay. And then see the little spout right there? Yeah. Pour that right in there. Right. Then just pour it right on in. Turn the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came some... Mm, hot chemicals mm, and dried out all the rain. The itsy bitsy spider was sick and then he died. <sighs> okay, I'd like to mention that some of these chemicals you really should not be putting down your drain. So make sure you read the instructions yeah. and don't put things down your drain that could hurt your pipes or your septic field. Yeah, definitely not or, acid. Yeah, acid would be bad. Okay, so yeah, the that, last couple of things you need to do for this one, Jackson, is to grab a few of those yellow crystals right there and just kind of drip them onto the rock, the top of the rock. Yeah. And that's probably good enough. Now, I need to go wash my hands. 
I just Hold on, before you go, we're going to try to find a safe place for, to put this, and then in a couple days we'll check back and show you what it looks like. And we boiled some additional water. For this one. We got some blue water here. Yeah. And blue crystals. And it's cooling down. So what we did was we boiled 68 milliliters of water on the stove. And then Jackson had two-thirds of the blue crystals in this little beaker that we already had bought. Mm -hmm. We got these little beakers on Amazon. We got a set of them for a couple dollars. Uh -huh. We used them in quite a, few, sure. quite a few experiments. We really uh -huh. like them. So it's still cooling a little bit. It's a little hot. Let's I hope this doesn't turn green later because did we use the same beaker? Um, I rinsed it out first. Okay. Yeah. So this is cooling down, and so Jackson has his D cup here with a rack already placed in it. And what he's going to do is we just dissolved the, all those chemicals, the <laughs> chemical powder, in with the water. We mixed it up until it was dissolved. You let it cool for five minutes. And then you take that and you pour it over top of the rock. You can do that, Jackson. All of it goes on top of that rock there. Make sure that this stuff. put your glasses on. Pour this over top of the rock, the whole container. Try not to splash it anywhere. Just pour, 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 pour. All the way in. So it's all gone. The container's hot. It is a little hot. It's a little cool. I mean, a little warm. Okay, buddy. Now take a few of those little yellow crystals. Right. It's going to help grow those crystals, right? Uh, well, okay. Uh, are, are we doing green or what? This is blue right now, so we're going to take... Well, shouldn't we do blue crystals? Well, though? we already had some yellow ones out, and it doesn't really matter what color you put in there because it all that matters is that it gives it something to grow on. Oh, we, need we need 68 milliliters of water, and again, we're okay. using purified water. Your results might vary if you use tap water. Sometimes yep. the chemicals in the tap water. That, that would be cool if we could use some tap water. You Just to see what happens? Yeah. See what the outcome is? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. A little experiment. Okay, so we have the water boiling. What we're going to do to get the green is do what? Oh, yeah. We're going to pour some blue and yellow in. The rest over. So we got the rest of the blue here. And can I pour the rest? Sure. Just all of it? Well, yeah, as long as you try to get it into there and not on the... Use both hands, Jackson. Okay. Well, you scoot over. Scoot over, water. <laughs> scoot over. Our assistant is in the way, apparently. Yep. Put your leg over here. Um, okay. okay. Well, Mike, maybe it's a project to make chocolate. Well, then. Our cat is freaking out right now because it is totally snowing outside. Jackson, what day is today? Today is, um, I'll, I'll go look. April. It's April 6th. 2017. And it's totally snowing outside. April okay. 6th. Come and mix, Jackson. I got the boiling water. It mixed in with the powder. Um, which one do I um, use? You can just use this green one here. I'm going to throw this one away. <laughs> mix okay. it. Mix it until it's dissolved. Oda, please get down from there. Get down. Come on. So he's going to mix that until it's dissolved. And we're going to let it cool down for five minutes. We're going to pour it into the container with the rock. Hot and we're, then we'll come back a little Then later. we'll sprinkle it with a few crystals on top of the rock so that the chemicals inside this mixture have something to fuse to. And then we'll come back later with our results. Couple, Probably a couple days. We'll, we'll try to come back in a couple days and show you what it looks like. Then our crystal growing video part one. And then have you see a... Thanks to our cousins who gave us this kit for Christmas. Yes, and look for the follow-ups. Part two. Yeah, my my part two later. It'll, it'll come out in a few days, so like maybe four or five. So bye, and this was Jack's World. Bye.